So I'm going to talk about Resto Druids. Now, this is my raiding character, and a lot of people have been struggling with Cataclysm, rotations for Druids, how to how to really get over the fact that mana really does get leached pretty quickly. So I thought I'd just give you a quick two minute showing of your basic healing rotation for a Resto Druid. Now, saying I'm the tank, now I use mouse over macros, makes everything a lot easier, you don't have to click on anything. You want three stacks of Life Bloom, uh, if for a raid you want to expect so Nourish restores those stacks and keeps it at full. You want to keep Wild Growth on cooldown all the time. Use Rejuvenation if you can on the tanks but use it sparingly as it does use a lot of mana. And then you use Swift Mend as well. Now Swift Mend uh, also does this efflorescence buff which is really really good for AoE effects. Now for a fight like Maloriac for example Everyone at one point has to come into the middle on the red face, they're all in the middle. You really want to probably cast it on yourself, pop it, everyone around you gets healed. Now again on the tank you keep your three stacks of, of life bloom up and you use nourish, you keep nourish up. If you get into a sticky situation, um, you use nature's swiftness and then healing touch. And again this will keep your stacks of re uh, life bloom up keep your stacks of life bloom up and keep everyone happy. Now in a raid that tends to crit with good gear around about 30 to 40k. Now gear wise you want to stack spirit and intellect as you see there I've just used regrowth when clear casting comes up. Now I use the blizzard UI uh, power auras effectively so that I know when I get that clear casting proc and I can cast uh, regrowth on myself, on a healer, on a DPS or even on the main tank. But usually keeping life bloom up and spamming nourish as much as possible. You shouldn't run out of mana, you should always be on around about, uh, well, you won't run out of mana. You, uh, you should always try and be conservative but not too conservative as to let the group die. As you can see here, this is just my standard rotation. The add-on that I'm using around my mouse is called GCD and all that does is show me how long it takes to cast, when to recast, that little red buffer there, if I just cast in that, usually I'm good to cast again. Um, it also tells you what's on cooldown. So if I cast Swift Mend on myself, that comes up there, as you can see on the bottom left hand side it's got Nature Swiftness, which again is a cooldown. Uh, tree form. When you get into the situation where your whole group's taking a lot of damage, you want to pop tree form and cast life bloom on as many people as possible. And once you do that, really that should just keep everybody up. If you're a bit of a meter whore, this will probably make you top the meters. As well as keeping, you need to remember this one, as well as keeping wild growth on cooldown. Wild growth affects an extra two members of your raid group, so that really does make a hell of a difference. And it makes regrowth um, instant, so you could could spam that all day but as you can see it just leeches your man mana. Try and use Innovate twice in a fight, that's how I do it. So toward the beginning when I'm around about 80% I use it, knocks me back up to 100%. There's usually enough people, usually enough people around with different spells, different uh, things like that to um, keep your mana pretty high. So, uh, shamans obviously they've got mana tied um, and then there's the priest one which is uh, I don't know what this guy is saying, but then there's the priest one, uh, I think it's uh, Hymn of Hope, and that restores mana, uh, as usual. So again, keep your life bloom stacks up, spam nourish, keep wild growth on cooldown, rejuvenation if possible, with swift mend, you always want to keep swift mend on cooldown, it's a very low, low costing spell, and regrowth when you get a clear casting proc. I hope you like this video, I hope it helps you, I hope that you can progress with the raids, uh, and etc. And remember to comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you for watching.